This is the Elgato Stream Deck, and it's become the secret weapon within my desktop setup that has completely revolutionized my entire workflow. In this video, we'll go over all the ways that this little device can make your life much, much easier. Greetings and salutations, I'm Mike and this is Dreamin' Digital. If you're the type of person who enjoyed playing Mortal Kombat on the Super Nintendo and occasionally threw a controller or two, then this channel is your new home and I welcome you. I humbly ask that you slap around the like button and subscribe to the channel so that we can grow together. Today we're taking a close look at the Elgato Stream Deck. If this is your first time learning about Elgato, well, allow me to introduce you. It was originally formed in 1999 in Germany. They've been a leader in gear for content creators making stuff like capture cards, stream decks, and lighting. Their products have supplied creators, gamers, streamers, and even remote workers with the tools they needed to do what they do best, create and stay connected. Elgato was bought by Corsair in 2018 and still maintains their passion for helping creators. The Stream Deck is one of their products I have been wanting to integrate in my workflow and now that I have, I wanna tell anyone and everyone willing to listen. The unboxing was unfortunately unceremonious. They kept it very lean inside the box. You get a short USB cable and the unit, that's it. I guess I was expecting more, but that didn't dissuade me from enjoying it nevertheless. The Stream Deck was first introduced in 2017 and it was targeted towards streamers that wanted to automate and simplify their tasks for their streams. Fast forward eight years later, this device can provide any creator with the life hacks you wouldn't have thought existed. The Stream Deck comes in five different forms. The Stream Deck Neo, Stream Deck Mini, Stream Deck Plus, Stream Deck Excel, and the one we're looking at today, the traditional Stream Deck. Each of these iterations are built for creators with different needs. I felt the regular Stream Deck was the perfect balance of price, form, and function, giving it the level of value I require from the products I am willing to buy. It's built like one of those Amazon Echo shows. It literally has the same shape when it's in its holster. This entire device can fit in the palm of your hand if you have a bear paw like mine. Let's dive into some of the features that can help you organize your life. The Stream Deck's most fundamental and most important features are its customizable buttons with LCD displays, allowing you to assign actions and macros for quick access, and its ability to integrate with various applications and platforms for streamlined workflows. This is what it does at its core, and it does it quite well. Let me show you how I configured my Stream Deck, and I haven't really even gone too far down the rabbit hole just yet. So my main screen is pretty clean. I am mainly using it to control my audio and a few of those usual suspects. On the top row I have a typewriter which will open Word, an AOL animation which will open Outlook, and on the far right a Mr. Chow animation which will put the PC to sleep using a multi-action button. In the center Neo is there to put the Stream Deck into screensaver mode. I think one of the coolest things about this Stream Deck is the fact that there's so much room for visual customization. You can use the icons they have available, you can use pictures and gifs, you can use whatever you find online, or just create your own. I used a Fallout theme for some of my icons I found on the Elgato Marketplace. It was completely free. Most of the cool stuff on there is free, which is rad. Now on my next screen I wanted to dedicate it to my editing workflow. I'm not that advanced when it comes to hardcore editing, so the commands are pretty basic. On the top row I have Audacity, which I use to edit my audio, Adobe Premiere Pro for video editing, Adobe Lightroom to edit my photos since I'll always be a photographer first, and OBS to do screen captures, which helps me film how-to videos. Next row, I put a link to the folder that contains all of my editing assets, and a save button since I get paranoid that Premiere will shut down unexpectedly like it's known to do and has done before. Following that is a screenshot icon because taking screenshots is very important when you're sourcing material for videos. On the bottom I have an icon that is attached to two separate actions that turn on my Govee lights. I think these multi-action buttons are where the money's at. 
These allow you to pair different actions together to do a bunch of different things with the click of one button. I've seen creators hook up their entire lighting rigs for their videos using these actions. Elgato also makes key lights for your desk that pair seamlessly with the Stream Deck. You can literally command anything electrical, any device by using smart plugs and a website called If This Then That. Elgato has a plugin that works directly with IFTTTTTTT, which allows you to command whatever you want using this one device. I think that's the coolest feature here. Total and utter home and office automation from what most thought was just a simple tool for streamers. Eventually, what I would like to do is create different profiles depending on what I'm doing at the time. This will allow me to have the most comfortable configuration. Let's say when I'm video editing, I can switch to a profile that will have just a bunch of different tasks and macros and hotkeys that will help me edit. Or when I'm gaming, I can have it set to uh, where I can utilize Discord and other gaming tools to help me along the way. I feel like depending on what you're doing, you can really make things easier on yourself by customizing your workflow and having a tailor made for you tool that can keep you not only organized, but also moving quickly through your tasks. Overall, I think we've stumbled upon something really special here. This device has value for any creative who wants to streamline their workflow into one little device. This can help anyone who is at their desk working on their computer, period. It's that broad in application and functionality. For only like around 150 bucks at the time of filming, I think this is jam packed with value. I don't think this thing is hyped up enough. People shouldn't sleep on this if they're still pointing and clicking. That's caveman shit. There's an app for that. I feel like a moron that I didn't pull the trigger on this sooner, especially with how much I love customizing things. This allows you to make this your own brainchild, your own creation. If you enjoyed the video and got something from it, I insist that you subscribe to the channel and make sure to quiet down with the like button. <laughs> No, we think that you lose. Ring the bell to get notified every time I drop a fresh new video. Thanks for watching. Take care.